Hey, what's up? This is Puck. Today I have, uh, yeah, the same victim that we had a while ago. My best friend uh, Jerry just uh, came by, and he's like, uh, I have this Acer, and you know, it shuts off all the time, and they don't know really what is wrong with it. It's really strange. <clears throat> And then I opened it and then, and then I saw that it was the Acer that we had this summer, the one from Michelle, the other friend of mine, and she uh, she is still working with it because it's uh, still working just fine. So today I'm going to do it one more time, the Acer 5350, uh, the heating problem, uh, this computer turns off after a while running Windows XP or Windows 7, doesn't matter it will turn off and that's because uh, it's full with dust and we're gonna remove the dust out of this thing all right so we're gonna turn it over and uh, we're gonna do the whole process on cam for you today so you can really enjoy a little uh, technical video with Buck okay the only thing you have to do is uh, the fan is here yeah you can turn it like this and then you need a screwdriver with a cross just put it in there and then turn it open this is one of the models of Acer and I think this is one of the better models computers that will let you clean the fan really easy if this was a HP the 6020S the one I have downstairs you don't want that thing to get full with dust. You don't want the fan to break. Because to uh, replace that fan, you must remove the whole bloody motherboard. You know? And that is really, really a big problem for people. So that's why I'm still like very need with my Acer 6720 it runs one time per week and it only runs when it has to DJ so you know um, these are the screws as you can see I lose them all and now uh, it should go open you can put your nails under it and just open the, the thing and as you can see as you can see, it's full of dust. Here you have two little screws at the fan. You can open them. You can uh, take them away. And a screwdriver with magnetic, uh, what do you call it, uh, will let you not lose the screws. So this you can take out, it's very easy. Here you also have the pin, remember in the video, I showed that to you. By putting your nails in there, you can remove this fan. And it should, oh, we have one more screw here. I forgot about that one. You can see that I did this before. Right? And you can see, look, wow. it's full with this, you see? And that's why this computer is shutting down because it's not cooling the system and as you can see here I hope you can see it my dear pranks it's all with dust so the only thing you should do now is not get some uh, some spray to blow it because that will blow all the dust into your machine. You should not do that. What you need is a vacuum cleaner. And this is one of the most famous vacuum cleaners. It's been on YouTube many, many times before. The only thing you have to do is take a little screw here, screwdriver, just go over this thing here. See that? Remove the dirt. You can also take a toothbrush. One without uh, toothpaste on it, of course. But that's another story, another video. 
So it looks pretty clean, now we're going to clean the fence. Okay. And this one was not so dirty as the other one, but it did, it did close up the, the pen there, the filter. So this is like a sort of filter. And then also not to forget to take the outside also a little bit. And that's it. Well, that's it. We just uh, took out the dust. The dust out of the computer. And of course, you should take out the dust out of your life as well. Huh? Yes, man. You it's, must take the dust. The dust. It's you know? all about the dust. All about the dust. You, you know? know? If you want to live a little longer, take all the dust, take all the dust out of your life, my friends. All right, and now we are uh, back. We gonna. I hope you can all see it. Eh? If not, of course, of course, then I am sorry. So we really put back. We really want to put back the little screws. There were three. You see, and with uh, oh my gosh. With the magnetic screwdriver, it's really easy to do this. Papa, this is two, and this is number three. See that, people? And then this goes back in there. It only goes in one way, yeah? So don't go pressing it if it doesn't want to go in. It just goes in one, one way. Okay, so you take the cover my dear friends and you you see that's how to do it as a matter of fact I love Acer because Acer is also running Mac OS X really well eh? I have an Acer an e-machine the dual core and that one runs uh, Leopard, eh? Leopard. So this machine is done, eh? Can you uh, let the no the vacuum cleaner uh, serve that way for just open? Just one of them. Yeah. Here, yeah, that's it. Okay. Now this thing won't shut off anymore. Because this is still a pretty good computer, right, people? Oops, let me zoom out. She won't turn off anymore. Probably she will. You don't even have to install nothing. I can also leave it like this. It won't turn off anymore. It's just good. Not with the Amani drive. It don't work well. Yeah, it will now, man. Trust me. No, no, no. You had a cooling problem, man. This this thing was heating up, man. This thing will run fine now, oh man. And this is the way to fix uh, the Acer, eh? and also any other laptop that turns off when, when it gets hot. Because if it's not the software, then it's the hardware. And it's important to have a good cooling system. You see, it doesn't even go on because it's really cold now. So there she goes. Um, no. Yes. Maria? Yes. Oh, okay. Guest. But Maria has a password to go in there. That works. Of course we can put another windows on it. Yeah. Of course yeah, we can do that, that's yeah. no problem. We can use a bit but I mean if this system is working, it probably has a lot of spyware. Let's kill the bitch. Look, she's running. She's running. So kill the bitch? Yeah, kill the bitch. Kill the bitch. 
This is the way how to remove the dust out of the 5315 the Acer. A pretty good machine, but hey, if you're sitting on the bed all day uh, and if you always put the computer everywhere, the laptop, you know, it sucks dust. It's normal. And, uh, you know, it's also normal to clean up your computer once in a while. And thanks to Acer, it's really easy to clean uh, this laptop. Because the only thing you have to do is remove some screws, pull the blaster thing out, you know, uh, clean the fan, suck it out with some dust uh, cleaner, and you're done. So that's it. So we say big up to you all. Thank you for watching. This is the way how to remove the dust out of the 5315 the Acer.